What's going on, guys? It's Investing Hustler here, and today I have Rich from Rich TV Live. How's it going, Rich? It's good. How you doing, buddy? Oh, it's going good. Markets aren't doing too bad. I th I feel like they're slightly recovering. Um, so, what companies did you want to talk about? I guess we could start off with the uh, with the big one, Afria, right? Yeah, Afria uh, today has done well. Obviously, they've been under short pressure. There's been short attacks. Uh, two yeah. articles have been reported um, and published negatively about mm -hmm. Afria. But what happened today that was very interesting is Notorious Short Seller, one of uh, our favorite guys, Andrew Left, he put out a report stating that Afria is a buy and that it's going to go to $10 Canadian. Andrew Left, that's, that's the last person I would expect to say that out of all people, Andrew Left. Exactly. So we thought it was, everyone in our community was talking about it. We thought it was very ironic that a notorious short seller would put out a yeah. report from Citron, from his own, his own firm, saying that Aurora is a buy and essentially saying it's going to go to $10 Canadian. It's at $7.53 Canadian. So, so far he's correct. So he's made the right call on this. I think we all think that it's undervalued at these prices. It's a really good company. Yeah. This was definitely a buying opportunity for those really risky people that mm -hmm. want to buy it. But I think what this shows is that even Andrew Left feels like this, this negative news yeah. is not going to stop Afria. And that's yeah. the thing that I'm excited about is that it just strengthens my position that they're going to be able to overcome this negative uh, publicity and this, lawsuit and this short attack which yeah. if a short seller a notorious short seller is yeah, saying he's still a buy and he's publishing crazy. it and putting his name on it and yeah. saying we're worth at least ten dollars which is a still a 25 percent upside from today's prices honestly i i would expect him to jump on that bang, bandwagon and, sh and short the crap out of them especially after those allegations so that that's really surprising to me Maybe yeah. he already did. Maybe he already shorted them. And Maybe. Now, he's now seen, he bought in. Yeah, he he's bought in on the lows. And he's like, okay, I made money on the way down. Let me take my, now let's make some money on the way up because they're just too big to fail. And that's what yeah. I've been saying. I'm like, they're too big to fail. This issue is only talking about 6% of the company. They'll, mm -hmm. They have lots of money to pay for big lawyers. Yeah. They will get through this. Yeah. Well, I, I've definitely been buying on the way down. I'm pretty sure I commented on your channel. I bought some at six fifty. I bought some at five dollars. So I pretty much ca caught the two bottoms here, the two lows, and then I sold half my shares on uh, on this morning right here. And I'm still holding on to half my position. So if it goes to ten dollars, I probably I don't know if I should hold long term or sell off at that point. But it's it's a uh, it's kind of a uh, it's risky still holding this stock because no one really knows what's going to happen with those allegations. Very risky. So yeah. yeah, I'm not suggesting anybody should buy the stock. Remember, Rich TV Live and yep. Investing Hustler, we are not licensed advisors. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on our channel, okay? Yeah, no, it's definitely risky. And I, I've been saying it the whole time. I'm literally just buying because of my gut feeling. I just had a gut feeling it would go back up. And um, luckily, I was right or else I'd be paying the price. So yeah, you well, I mean, your own risk stocks and you date these stocks for as long as we have you start to learn what the bottom is and when there's bad news on great companies yeah. that's nothing short of a buying opportunity so exactly. you took advantage of that i applaud you for that it is very risky i wouldn't yeah. touch it um mm -hmm. i don't like to touch anything that's going through a lawsuit it's yeah, just no. kind of one of my rules um but for those people that are very risky it is a very great opportunity now once they get past this absolutely i would buy the stock again yeah but right now until they are past this i don't mm. feel comfortable personally putting my money into the stock at this point yeah no it's especially because uh I've, i'm used to holding apria back in the day they were up in the 20s so the fact that it went all the way down to five, it's like, I just couldn't, I couldn't miss out on that opportunity, especially because I held Apria. I sold some shares. I sold most of my position when they were back in the high twenties, back pre, pre legalization. So I just, I just had a feeling that they would go back up to those numbers. Cause look, look at how low they are here compared to how high they were here. Yeah. It's 52. Weeks Even low. if you look at when it was in January, Apria was as high as 24 75 so that's, that's right. just the potential i see in apria so at five dollars you can almost five times your money so but but that's just speculating to that's another right. level but yeah 
past results are not an indication yeah. of future results. So no, that's you true. assume, especially when they're going through all of this negative short attacks. Mm -hmm. So I just found it interesting that uh, Citron Research were publishing that it's a buy and that yeah. they give it a $10 price target. So I thought that that was interesting. And I believe that might be the reason why it's going up today based on that article. Yeah. Maybe. Because I, but I did see a $10 support line here. So maybe that's why they're saying $10 because it might go back to that support line or the $10 might be their resistance. But, but yeah, you did say you have some news today about something high times. Yeah. So we've been in talks with high times to get on rich TV live and yeah, I have some breaking news. High times will be on rich TV live. We will be interviewing them shortly sometime in the next couple of weeks here before Christmas. So stay tuned. High times, rich TV live. It's true. Yeah, look forward to that. I'll definitely try to catch it. Um, so what do, you, what do you think about the farm bill? I don't think it's official yet today. I heard it was going to be official Wednesday or Thursday. I'm waiting for news. I'm still waiting on the news. I think when they do announce that it has been approved, it'll be a catalyst for the entire sector. And when you are right now only allowed to do medical CBDs, yeah. and then you legalize hemp, throughout yeah. America and they're projecting that the revenues right now, which are 800 million a year are going to go up to 22 billion in four years. That's a pretty substantial growth curve. So yeah. I believe that this is going to be a catalyst for the entire sector, especially companies in the CBD space and the yeah. hemp space and in America, this is going to be a massive catalyst. So stay tuned. And who do you think is going to be the, the big winners from this? Like I which all the companies that are in the hemp space, companies like C web, Companies like Truly, companies like Cura, companies like MedMen that are strategically in America, companies like Aurora Cannabis, companies, Hemp like, Hemp. Africa, uh, companies like Hempco Food and Fiber, companies, yeah. you know, there's so many. Uh, even companies like Canopy Growth, I believe they'll all be affected by this. A lot of them are starting to want to expand into America. So I believe all of them will be affected by this and, and this will be a catalyst for the industry. And I just put out a song yesterday talking mm. about the cannabis stock resurrection because I believe it's coming. Yeah, it, it, it sure looks like it. Um, right now, these companies are doing, obviously they're not in the green except for like Apria, but they're not doing that bad. Like Aurora's 0%. They didn't go up or down yet. Canopy's only down 0.26%. So they haven't really declined that much. And we had two green days in a row. So I was expecting a bad red day today because we haven't seen two green days in a long time. But... It looks like we've kind of found like a, a stable ground. Like they, they have seemed to stabilize a little. Or what do you think about that? Well, I think we found 52-week lows. And yeah. we've even seen some stocks go below 52-week lows. So, you know, for me, I do believe in charts. And I do believe in historical patterns. Mm -hmm. And I believe we found the floor. Now, could we see some more selling? Yeah, of course. Could it go a little bit lower? Yeah. Could it go a lot lower? Yeah. But I think eventually... Uh, based on the revenues, based on the growth of this industry, the, these stocks, especially the best stocks, the revenue generating stocks in North America are going to have their day in the sun. And we will be ready and we'll be right there reporting on it 24-7, that's for sure. Yep. So the big winner for today is Apria. Eh? Have you, do you know any companies doing really well today? Um, yeah, they, you can take a look at Hip H. They're in the CBD beverage company. Hip what's, their, what's their ticker symbol? H-I-P-H. -H. It's more of a penny stock, but it's a company that our community is winning on. It's uh, having a very strong day today. H -I -H. Oh, yeah, they're up 33%. Wow. Yeah, you can see their chart. So, you know, we watch, we see it all here at Rich TV Live. We know all the winners before anybody else. So, okay. Hip H is up 33%. We've been talking yeah. about it in our community. I've done a lot of videos about them. They've gone much higher. They've recently come down. They put out some huge news. And the stock is responding today up 30%. So a lot of members in our community are winning on Hip H today. Have you ever heard of MDRM, Modern Mobility Aids? MDRM. Another penny stock. Um, but they're up 30% as well today. Yeah, I'm not familiar with them, but it's nice to see that. They're, yeah. they're a very good swing trade company. You, you, I, I've been buying them in at like 18 cents. Oh, no, 0.18 cents and then selling them at 2 cents, 2, 2, 3, 5 cents. So nice. yeah, they're 30%. Very nice. Yeah, so it looks like the markets aren't doing too bad, but um, how about how about all these other companies? How's Apple? Apple's up. Yeah, the market, we're having a decent day. I guess we're recovering from um, 
Well, the market was red initially, and yeah. it's come back a lot. Even the Dow was down like three, four hundred points initially, and I think now it's only down like last time it looked like seventy points. So mm -hmm. it's starting to rally back. So I don't know if we're going to finish green, but I don't think we're going to have a brutal red day. I think it'll be yeah. more like a mixed day today. Yeah, it looks like we're just trading sideways today. So tomorrow, what do you expect? Green, red? I'm waiting for this farm bill to be passed. If the bill yeah. gets passed, I expect tomorrow will be green. So yeah. I'm still waiting on that news. I haven't heard any news break on it yet, but I'm assuming that if the news breaks that the farm bill is passed, that we will see green. I heard it's, it's not going to get passed till Wednesday or Thursday. But who knows? Yeah, well, apparently they're doing the vote today, but there's yeah. going to be delays. And yeah. they're saying that it might not even be passed until next week officially. Yeah. But I want to see that vote get passed. So that's what I'm waiting on. And apparently it was supposed to be today. So I'm still waiting. Like, like you know, the way politics are, they may push it, they may delay it. So we might not hear an answer yet for a day or two or maybe even for a week. But I'll be listening very carefully and we'll be watching. That's for sure. Any companies you're watching right now on your watch list that you plan to buy soon? Yeah, I'm looking at a lot of companies. Kush Bottles, Cura, Medman, Afria, Aurora, Canna Royalty. I like all six of those right now. I want them all. So I'm hunting their bottoms right now. Yeah, so add them to your watch list, but invest at your own risk. Strictly for educational and entertainment purposes, right? It's true. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Boy Rich here with Investing Hustler. Yep. Are we out? Uh, it's what are we at? We're at 13 minutes. I think or how, how long? I think we're good. It's a quick little video. We could. I say we do another collab. Hundred likes, and we'll do another collab. Me, Rich, and Departures Capital. What do you think, Rich? I'm down for that. Hundred likes. You 100 heard likes. Investing Hustler. Get us a hundred likes in this video, and we'll yep. do a three-way collab. Investing Hustler, your boy Rich, Departures Capital, bro. Do it, man. 100 likes. Don't forget to subscribe to Rich TV Live. Don't forget to subscribe to Investing Hustler. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Smash it. Bye-bye. <laughs> so I guess we.